The minimum wage has been raised 22 times by 12 different presidents, and today the minimum wage is only $7.25. There are many different opinions on the topic of minimum wage. Some people feel that minimum wage can benefit people in the economy, and others feel that there should be other programs to support individuals with lower paying jobs. Even when the minimum wage law was established, politicians were not all aligned on the outcome. The minimum wage law was established to protect the health and well-being of employees. The minimum wage law was part of the Fair Labor Standard, Standard Act and was made into a law into, in America in 1938. The law defines the lowest amount of money that employers can legally pay their employees for work or a service. The law has been and continues to be a political issue. The matter of trying to determine which workers should be included in the minimum wage scope and the amount they should be paid continues to be highly debated in America. The Fair Standard Act has been a political issue for many decades. The last time the minimum wage was raised was in 2009. This issue needs to be addressed for a large percentage of Americans in order for them to survive in the, ri in the rising costs of living. Increasing minimum wage will have many advantages for America, and the idea that this will increase unemployment, cause firms to go out of business, and that only teenagers benefit from the increasing minimum wage should be challenged. The first argument that I will be discussing is how many Americans believe that raising the minimum wage will not affect adults, but only help out teenagers. A statistic found that more than half, 51% of workers who would benefit are adults between the ages of 25 and 54. Only one in 10 is a teenager. Nearly six in 10, 59%, are women, more than half, 54%, work full-time, and more than 4 in 10, 43%, have college experience, and more than a quarter, 28%, have children. A majority, 59%, of workers whose total family income is below the poverty line would receive a pay increase if the minimum wage were raised to $15 by 2025. Well, many people believe that increasing the minimum wage would cause firms to go out of business. This is not true. A survey, a survey, a survey conducted by a Republican pollster, Frank Luntz, that was leaked to the Washington Post in April found in April found that 80% of business executives supported increasing the minimum wage. Studies by, by leading economists, including Nobel laureate George Akerlof of Georgetown University, found that employee morale and work, work ethic increase when employees believe they are paid a fair wage. Economists have also linked higher wages to better physical and mental health and reduced decision fatigue leading to higher productivity. Raising the federal minimum wage will also stimulate consumer spending, help businesses bottom lines, and grow the economy. A modest increase would improve worker productivity and reduce employee turnover in absenteeism. It would also boost the overall economy by generating increased consumer demand. Another argument is that raising the minimum wage will cause more unemployment. This is not true. In recent studies on states and cities with higher minimum wages by the Institute for Research on Labor and Employment Center, 
for Economic and Policy Research, Integrity Florida, and others show that actual minimum wage increases have not caused jobs, job loss. In the 2015 report, Minimum Wage Policy and the Resulting Effect on Employment, the Research Institute Integrity, Integrity Florida observes, economists cite several reasons why increases in the minimum wage, which raise employers' costs, generally do not cost jobs, increase pay add money to workers' pocketbooks, and allow them to buy more goods and services, creating higher demand, which in turn requires higher, hiring more workers. Higher wages lead to lower employee turnover, resulting in redu reduced recruiting and training costs. An analysis by the Center for American Progress estimates that the cost of replacing low-wage workers is equal to about 16% of the employee's annual salary. A 2012 study by Aaron Dubé, William Lester, and Michael Reach concluded that increases in the minimum wage can reduce turnover substantially, leading to savings in turnover costs. In summary, raising the minimum wage would increase the number of jobs, allow firms to increase the cost of their goods allowing them to not go out of business and benefit not only teenagers but adults and families as well. Congress needs to act now before more Americans drop below the poverty line.